So from yesterday's hail and rainstorm, that was a sinkhole that I just drove by. It's about 40 feet wide and there was a SUV in the bottom of it. Uh, the person was okay, but uh, you know, it's pretty serious, folks. And look at the radar right now. I'm working on the patio, looking straight at it. Oh boy, here we go. We're not leaving the house tonight. The shed. The shed. The recording studio for this channel. That's right. Oh, the shed. Uh, we've done a lot of filming in here, haven't we? Haven't we? Right there, but I would never take little, 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 little slice. We instituted the question of the day. Whoa, what are these? So I'm just here in the call, folks. I'm here in the call to spice things up a little bit here in the shed, move forward on this channel, on the YouTube, and I'm just excited about what is happening with everything, with all the videos, with all the comments, with all of you guys, This, what YouTube calls a subscriber, I call a person, you. Human beings, we love you. You're a real person in there, YouTube, in there. You're not a subscriber. You're a person, and you have thoughts, you have ideas, and you're sharing them down in the comments. And so, I want to continue this conversation here on the uh, digital continent, but I need a better place to record videos. Capiche? Uh, so, our, you know, we, we, we don't have a ton of house. <laughs> we don't have a ton of house. We don't have a ton of space inside the house. Therefore, I'm going to think about, think about getting creative in the shed with a potential recording space. We'll call it a space for now. But that means I need to clean it out a little bit, especially after the rats, you know, and the mice. Holy smokes. All right, let's get to work. Tonight, cleaning the shed. Oh man, it's not good. But we're gonna we're gonna win this battle. We're gonna win this battle. Uh, it's looking better. Everything's coming full circle. I love filming, love making videos every single day for you guys, uh, but I also like to pursue excellence in the video production process. So like right now, can you see my face? The lighting is not very good. It's probably a little dark, because I first of all don't have the overhead light on right now because I had to take, well actually it blew off in the hailstorm last night, so it's sitting down there on the ground, and it's also coming full circle because before the hailstorm, uh, before we went to Texas Roadhouse, I filmed the comment of the week. And it looks horrible. Like the shot does not look good. It doesn't have excellence written all over it. Yesterday's vlog got a little long because of the hailstorm. And so I'm going to put the comment of the week in right now in about 15 seconds. But you're going to notice that the lighting is off a little bit. And... I want to get better. I want to, I don't want bad lighting for you guys. So that's why I'm working on this shed idea, this studio idea out here. Comment of the week before we go on date night to Texas Roadhouse. Here we go. Russell, Russell, you're crushing it. I think this might be your second one. This was on the vlog where I basically explained what happened at the Under Armour 50K up at Copper Mountain. Russell said, Though it doesn't feel the same as breaking the tape on the day, it still counts. I like the sports analogy you gave. I definitely don't like the term cut the course in this instance because that insinuates bad intentions on the part of the lead runners. This was squarely in the category of took a wrong turn. Course markings can be poor, tampered with, or removed. It's all part of it. Route study is as big a part of the mental game as anything in trail racing for anyone. It's so true. Races get strung out pretty quick, and even those in the middle and back will often run into junctions alone. 
I will admit that this issue is exacerbated for front runners who come up on course junctions first. Many times even other runners arrive alone. Issues have then been resolved and a con consensus direction has been established. Case in point, Jim's fateful missed left turn at mile 93 in 96 at Western States. Stephen Kirsch is obviously a high quality runner and a stand-up person for accepting the DQ gracefully. He'll have plenty more great days of racing in the future, I'm sure. All this to say, congrats on the dub. Thank you, Russell, for the comment of the week. You rock. And thanks for taking the time. I mean, that was like... That was a good paragraph, sir. I know you know, I know you're a busy man, and so I really appreciate the comments down. If you're new, which by the way, there's a lot of you, we really emphasize commenting below with thoughts on the vlog, questions for my family, questions about running, questions about life, um, and of course the question of the day. So appreciate you chiming in, and it's all about those, it's all about the conversation. It's a two-way street here in the YouTube universe. Whew. All right, so that was the comment of the week. Once again, did you notice the lighting was a little off on the face? Like, anyway, pursue excellence in everything you do, right? Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. The clouds are clearing. Get you a nice little sunset right now for you. And see you tomorrow.